it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are setting up a development environment on a SSD for the NVIDIA Jetson Development Kit. Let's get started. There are two major tasks covered in this video. The first is to attach a SSD, format it, and then set it up so it can act as the root directory. The second step, we will build a new kernel and add an additional module. In this video, we're using a Jetson TX1. I have attached a brand new SSD to it. So let's open up our disks application. Two hundred fifty GBs. Let's go to this little hamburger menu. We will format the disk. Okay, let's add a partition. We hit the little plus button here. We get a little error in creating the partition. I don't think it's important. Now let's format the partition. Compatible with Linux systems, ext4, we'll call it Jetson SSD 250 format. Are you sure you want to format the volume? Yes. Okay, so it's device slash dev slash SDA1, and here it is in our little sidebar. It's not mounted, so let's mount it. Just click on it and close this. Let's open up a terminal. Now we are ready to copy the contents of the internal EMMC over to the SSD. To do that, we use this magic incantation slash. Then we copy this over. And at the end of that, we will run a little sync so that everything that's in memory gets written out. Let's switch over to the boot directory and the configuration. Let's make a copy of this configuration file. Okay, so now we're ready to have it so that the root directory is set to point to the SSD. Let's make a copy of this. Change the name of this one. And now we're going to switch this to point to the SSD, which is at SDA1. Make sure we save this, baby. Close it. And now we're ready to reboot. Okay, it looks like we rebooted. Here's the EMMC. It's now an external drive. Okay, let's open up a web browser. And 
and wander over to the Justin Hacks account on GitHub. There is a repository to build the Jetson TX1 kernel. There's also one to build the Jetson TX2 kernel. Since we're on a TX1, we select this one. Open up a terminal. Git clone. Let's grab this address. Paste it here. Now we switch over to that repository's directory. One thing that we can do at this point, let's open up a new terminal. We can set the jets and clocks to max. Ooh, need to run it as root. current version we're running is 4.4.38 minus Tegra. That's the kernel identification. So here we want to get the kernel sources. It is now time to configure the kernel. Let's get some of our panes working here. Drag this one up a little bit. General setup, local version. As you recall, when we did uname minus r, the name of the kernel was 4.4.38 minus Tegra. The local version is minus Tegra. So if you just want to use a stock kernel, that's what you would name the local version as. But in our case, I want to call it Jetson Box. Version 0.1. Let's add another module. ACM. Let's try that one. USB modem. So this is for devices that identify themselves as TTY ACM. I'm going to build that inside the kernel. Let's close this. Then we will save our selection. And close. Now we're ready to make the kernel. The next step is to copy the image. This will copy the image over to the boot directory of the current device. The current device is the SSD. The boot device is the EMMC. So we need to copy this image over onto the EMMC so that it will know to boot from it. Let's mount the EMMC. Let's switch over there. CD this. We will go to the boot directory on the EMMC. Now let's copy over our new image. And call it image SSD. We need sudo. So 
So one more step. Let's go over to the configuration file. So let's edit our configuration file. sudo gedit xtlinux.configuration. Our new boot image is image SSD, which is the new kernel image that we just compiled. We will save this. This is baby up. And now we're ready to reboot. Moment of truth. Okay, so let's take a look. You name minus R. Jetson bot. So now we have our new kernel installed. Properties. Free space, 219 GBs. By setting up our configuration file like that, that means that we can go through the serial console and switch a boot from the SSD or the internal EMMC, which is nice for debugging. And we also have a bunch of space now to develop on. Thanks for watching. Thank you.